morning welcome to another team unearthed dig three in three weeks unprecedented um we're here today on some as you can see freshly cut grass this was cut last week and already it's jumping up it's um it's very very aggressive grass that's growing um we're just working our way on these fields we've got three or other fields to do today and uh, i'm hoping for interesting artifacts and coins we'll be back with you as soon as anything of note comes up um, thanks for subscribing and liking the channel if you can subscribe to it if you haven't already leave a comment or two or like it that would be fantastic uh, here with john we'll first off and he's that's at a signal this is this is his very first signal and he's had a shilling a 1920 shilling there you go so that's the first coin of the day well literally i just walked on the field two minutes in and the finds are showing well done john here with ron and ron's just shouting me over he's just dug that hole there as you can see and he's had a little roman bronze coin i'm just going to turn into the light a big ch little chunky coin it'll clean up quite nice that or is it a roman let's just have a look it's got anything else on there yeah it's definitely i'm going for roman unusual one that right okay folks there's stuff coming up and we'll be back with you as soon as anything comes out of the ground just uh up now from let's have a look 1817 sixpence of george the third by chris and a quite a nice one as well so yep. that there tells me the farmer's on his way so i'm going to go and see him you can hear his quad in the background well done jackie's up next and she's had a hammer that's uh, unfortunately been split by the plough but you imagine that being full, that would have been a beauty. Queen Elizabeth, um, sixpence by the look of the size. You can just see the um, the bust of the Queen popping over the break. Well, that's a cracking coin, that would have been a beauty. But, you know, it's a bit of history. Just shows you the damage that the plough does. These people that say, oh, the plough doesn't do any damage and all this, it's absolute rubbish. The plough can damage artefacts and coins and we save them from further destruction, folks. There you go. A message to the knockers out there. Jackie up next, she's just had a, uh, another Roman bronze that are coming up. There's a lot of these little Roman bronzes that are coming up off this field now. I'm getting uh, talk of another one coming up further uh, further down, so I'm going to go and see if I can video that. But uh, yeah, interesting little place this. Plenty of stuff coming up and we're only an hour in. See him now, he's on the silver. Uh, very, very worn hammer. Look at the thinness of that. There's not a lot of detail on there to, to, to get out of the coin. It could also be, potentially be, a William Sixpence, but I'm, I'm going for Hammond because just out of the, the thinness of that, uh, that coin. Anyway, there's another silver up. A very interesting weight now from Louise. Look at this. It's got some sort of inlay in the top of the weight. That's been put in at a later date. Can you see that? What is that? It's a real heavy piece, that. As you can see, that's uh, that's been something that, I mean, you, we've had Viking weights in this area. The last twice we've been to this farm and did his different fields, the farmer's different fields, we've had two Viking, no, actually three Viking trade weights. Could this be another one? Very intriguing piece. Right, on to the next, folks. This is turning out to be a cracking day once again. Just as we... Uh, filmed that weight and louise has actually found another one very very close to it as you can see this is a lead disc with a circle and uh, some scratches uh, in the middle of it so there's a lot of intriguing things just coming up off this area here just on this bank things like that there you go so we're onto something here so i've just showed you where these weights are coming from ricky's just come over <coughs> and he's had one He's had a, that's a real heavy weight. There's, that's three weights off this bank uh, alone. That's got some markings on it there. You can just see them. What has been going on <coughs> in this part of the field? We're going to get a little team together and just see if we can... Um, that's got an X there, look. That's definitely got an X there. Or is it an X? Looks like an X there, but when you turn it... Anyway, we're going to get a little team together, see if we can unearth any more bits and pieces from this bank with Kate now now Kate takes herself off into a, away from most of the other detectorists and she does her own thing she usually comes up with the goods and today is no exception as you can see 
she's on the gold and this isn't any ordinary gold this is ancient gold you can tell by the look and the feel of this uh, gold link or gold ring um, I'm sticking my neck out and saying that's a lot older than uh, medieval even that's going back in time this ring it's crude it's got no marks on it it's just got that really heavy as well it's just got that look to it you can't even rule out that to be sort of roman uh, or that uh, era i mean you can't even rule out that being viking because there's viking uh, objects coming up and artifacts in these fields so uh, that's a cracking find as you can see kate is on the gold i'm going to nickname her the golden girl pauline now and she's just had a roman bronze uh, you can just see that there look just needs a little bit of attention around the edges just starting to go a little bit but uh, another fourth century coin and the ladies again i have to say it they're on fire what are the men doing a lot of the men you know they stand there talking about uh, football and golf and anything else other than detect so you can understand why the women are leading the way today come on guys dave now dave hilton and he's just had a silver it's his first silver for some time actually it's an 1816 silver shilling the farmer's got his uh tractor going on in the background there's all sorts going on there's coins popping up all over the place and i've just had a shout on the radio that somebody's found roman artifact so i'm going to go and have a look and you lot can come with me and see it i'm here with darren now darren harvey and he's just giving me a shout because he's got something in the hole peering out you can just see it there look a circular object now we're going to reveal this together gently he's just going to prise that out so that's away mate just nice and easy it might just come that you know that's the way mate nice and gentle oh that's a strange object Whoa. that is a strange look at that that's a nice buckle that is a nice piece i'm just gonna i'm just gonna if you put that in my hand gently mate we'll, we'll stand up I don't, I don't think i've ever witnessed one like that now i'm just wondering whether this cage part here sorry this part here goes in the cage it does that's nice now what age would that be? Mm. It's got to be late medieval at the very I've got, least. I've got a nice buckle book at him. So. Yeah, that'll be in that. Yeah. So this bit here, wait in the cage, it's just bent over. Hey, nice, what a nice find. Well done, Darren. Next, and he's just had um, a lovely little Roman brooch as he blows the fly off my hand. Yeah, a little Roman brooch. So you're getting all these little Roman bronze coins and you're getting brooches. The denarii shouldn't be too far away, fingers crossed. We never really seem to get the disc brooches here at the moment. We all seem to be these fibula types, but uh, I'm not complaining, but it'd be nice to see a disc brooch at some point, just in case the gods are listening. Steve Glue now, and he's had a couple of Roman coins, very close together. As you can see, a little, uh, a little one and a, a, a rather corroded looking mid so mid to late 4th century type, there's a lot of these little Roman coins coming off. There's got to be denarii here somewhere, got to be. Got to be. Shirley up next and she's just had the silver spoon, as you can see. And just had the tip. I think the tip's been um, hacked off at some point in the past, which would have had the initials on the top of here when it would have been rounded at the top. It would have had initials stamped in there because I can't see any marks on here. You usually have marks around that area. There's nothing yet, but that's um, Georgian in date. Nice. Interesting artifact now from Anita, and she's just found this. You can see it's a lion's head quite crude it's also got the uh classic pendant loop on that side and it's been broke off this and uh, this end here this end here has been broke so is it being a heraldic pendant horse pendant that sort of thing with that loop hanging but it's strange that the, the head of the lion would be hanging downwards which is strange um some maybe a buckle attachment at this side what's broken off but that's a lion and I would say maybe late medieval Tudor period. Sticky my neck out. That's a really nice artifact. And as you can see under the mud, it's gold gilding as well. You just see the gold gilding coming through. 
there. Yeah. So it's, at some point in its uh, past life, it was gold gilded. That would have been stunning. What a nice artifact. Well done, Anita. The gods are talking. We're now Western King. Was it? This is actually a uh, Charles. Of, sorry, Charles II. You can see the two. You can see the one one there. Look. So it's a Charles II half crown. It's a bit pitted and a bit weathered, but it'll. Um, you can see the king's bust, and then on the back you can see. Let's see if we can turn it over. You don't see many of these coins, by the way, folks. You can see 16 there, look, and you can see 76 on the other side of the crown. So 16, 76. Now it could be debased, but I'm thinking it's just heavily weathered, and that could actually, uh, with a little bit of care and attention, reveal some detail when Wayne gets home. So you don't see many of them, and. Uh, I'm just going to go over now and talk to Wayne because I, I want to show you something, guys, that he's got. Showing you people about these harnesses that we uh, we stock here at Unearthed. People have been waiting patiently for these. This is the Mark II version. It's um, a lot better, a lot stronger than the uh, original ones. Wayne's wearing this for the first time, so you can see his pocket there. He's got another pocket here. He's got this main pocket here, which is really handy for your keys and your fans. That's my phone. And your phone. And then he's got his probe holster there he's got his digging tool holster there he's got his walkie-talkie up here and this is padded uh, the difference between these and the original mark ones is they're just made better you've got a big pocket there at the back you've got another one here with the zip and when i take that out that goes all the way down his backside that one has got the high vis on it just in case people want to be noticed in the field and that clips onto there look like that and that side so these are going to be out very very soon folks so look we get lots of calls for these here at unearth uh, rightly so and uh, this is a new version so oh there's also a drinks bottle holder there and you've got one there bloody hell there's more more stuff right okay folks that's just giving you an update they're going to be out in all this coin now but uh, it's a really nice one found by mark and you can see james the second you can see his bust and it's gun money see these sort of two crosses there let me just have a look if I can get a date. No, I can't see a date. Oh, you can. Is that 69? 1669 at the top there? There's been some wonderful mill coins today um, all around this period. So there's been a lot of activity from the Roman period. Then it seems to have gone quiet and then picked up again uh, later. So there's not a lot of medieval stuff coming, but we've got Roman and Tudor and later. So... Um, we'll see if this afternoon brings any medieval discoveries to light. Here with John now, and John's found a clutch of uh, intriguing artefacts. I mean, some of these might be off uh, furniture, uh, you know, these little... Although, some of them do look, under the uh, viewfinder, very old. This one intrigues me, this one. Now, this is intriguing, this one. It's a terminal end of something, but that's got... Um, a look and a feel of it being quite ancient that and then you've got the other ones next to it like almost like an acorn that one and then this curious object here and you said that all these were found in one area yeah, that, yeah. Not, you know 100 yards 100 so. yards yeah yeah interesting mate i would go back to where you're finding these pieces and see if you can get what any more with? no other than the border raider himself john branner he's just <laughs> given me a shout He's on the hammered. That looks like, to me, a broken penny or a clipped penny. It's the first medieval coin of the day, actually, which is good. And then you can see the king's bust. Well done, John. Thank nice you, to look. get a bit of medieval, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely. I don't know if you can see that bust there, look. Yeah. It's been clipped, eh? Yeah, it's just been clipped a bit, but uh, still no less desirable, mate. Yeah. Fantastic, there you go, sir. Lovely. Well Thank done. You very much. Much, much congratulations oh, to you. Next, you. He's had uh, William the Third sixpence, as you can see, and uh, a little bit of tarnish knocking around on that coin, which will be easily solved. And then you can see the bust of the king. There's his head. Handsome chap he is as well. Well done, Martin. It's a rather nice found. Uh, find, sorry, by Richard and Yvonne. Yvonne's found it. Look at this, made of lead. It's a really interesting artifact it's almost like a big mold um it's got a one and a four 
backwards if you will there so that would have been the impression off that would have been um, the normal way around but look at this the thickness is unbelievable that's a really nice um, really nice artifact to that I, I like that a lot oh there's a fix in there look this has just come up now folks as, you, as you're watching it um, it's literally just come out of the ground now what a find what a nice find interesting stuff we'll get more details of that when we can and I'll put it on the screen if I get any identification of it fantastic Chris is on a hammered now a uh, little hammered medieval coin chipped clipped you see his little face look at him looking cheeky little face and there's the back part of it might be York Mint that with that uh, design in the middle and uh, there you go another hammered fantastic right we've still got a few hours left let's see what else comes to light uh, Mike Richardson now he's just had a uh, we thought it was a hammered it's a, a milled William the third sixpence you can see the king's bust there in the background and you can just see a little bit of anything on the back maybe probably been a love token at some point with that bend possibly yeah maybe another bit of silver well done to him well, John Bronner again, he's given me a shout and he's had another hammered. So what we're going to do is <sighs> reveal it with you all. It's definitely a hammered, mate. Yeah. But what? Well, it's an, do you know what it is? It's another clipped penny you same, can just, as same as the last and same as Chris's. That's three then, isn't it? Three, all of the same nature. Yeah. Look at that, John. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, yeah it's just a bit dirty on that side. I don't want to rub it. So we'll give you that, give you that back and we'll see what it's like clean. Well, we're back with John's coin and he's uh, he's cleaned the mud off it with his little spray bottle. And it's uh, it could be York Mint with that... Uh, Design in the middle again, like the last one. Okay. These three, last three hammered, have all been of a similar design in nature. But you can oh, see, weird. you can yeah, see the key the king's um, bust, and then you can see two dots either side of his bust. So you'll probably get the identification there. Just see him. See oh, two yeah. dots either yeah. side. And he's not a happy chap, is he? A very stern-looking man. Anyway, what a fantastic find. Well done to John. Uh, hammered are coming up now, and Mike Richardson's just had a, what looks like to be a penny. Is it a penny or a half grow? I can't see. No, it's a penny. It could be a penny. It could be a half grow. It looks a little bit big for a penny, even though it's chipped. Um, it's been. It looks like it's been in a bloody fire, that, because it's got that much tarnish on it. But, yeah, it's definitely a hammered. I would say it's a medieval penny. I'm going for a medieval penny yet. It's just throwing me with the mud round it and things. So there you go, folks. Another hammered. That's good. Let's see what else comes up. Eugene now. And she's just had this intriguing object. I think that's all. I'm sticking my neck out here, folks. Some of you guys will know what that is straight away. I'm racking my brains to work out what it is. It's obviously got a little bit. It's just literally come out of the ground. It's got some markings there. Obviously, they look like them. They look, their markings look like they're deliberate. But that's an interesting artifact. And she's also had something else. I'm going to just uh, pass that over to you gently, Jean. And, and take this and what do you think this is oh we can see gustav adolf, adolf services conon oh, yeah you can see better than me a crown and then what an unusual coin 1965 or oh. we've never ever seen one of them before that's amazing that's weird isn't it that? that's weird Right, okay. I'll just hand this back to you and uh, onto the next. Air. If you if you can remember back, I don't know, a couple of uh, well, this morning's actually it's all gone so quick. Um, Louise's weights and and uh, Ricky's weights. Well, Ricky's just had this in amongst that area. That's ancient, right? That patina, as you can see, is um, is exactly the same as the Iron Age sort of Romano British period. Now that is significant, whatever that's been. That's um. That's a Bronze Age artefact. I'm going to get some research done and see if I can get that up on the screen, but that's a Bronze Age artefact, folks. That's what I'm going for. Absolutely 100%. Well done, Ricky.